Oh. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video. I got this little camera fixed up and everything. So I can use this and... So, basically, I'm gonna get right to it. Uh, so, as you all know, it is October, and I haven't uploaded a video since maybe September or so. Oh, there's my computer. I'm starting it up so that as soon as it, uh, this video ends, I should be able to just upload it, like, right away. But, something is, is that I'm, uh, my phone broke. Uh, my Samsung Galaxy S5. I mean, it was pretty great. You know, I had some good, good videos with that. And, yeah. I had amazing videos with that. Lots of good content. Lots of strange content. Pretty sure my video, my very last video, was titled Cat, and it was just me kind of petting the cat and whatever. Oh, that cat. Uh, he's, um, asleep, as you may understand. <laughs> but, yeah, he's, he's gone forever and ever. So is his sister. And so, yeah, that was basically the last video I uploaded. Where I was just petting that cat. And so I haven't uploaded anything since for like, what, three weeks now or so? so this is just a little video to update. Uh, so, I guess I'm going to return, I guess to say, December 14th, 2019. That's right, this year, December 14th, I will return. It will be an amazing return, I guess, I don't know. Uh, so as a replacement for that, I got this little tablet. That right there. Uh, I can't upload any videos to YouTube on it because it is an Amazon tablet and it's trash because you can't upload videos to YouTube on it. So that was kind of gay. <laughs> so now I fix up the little camera on my computer here which I'm going to get a new one later, around my birthday or Christmas, so yeah, it's kind of good. I'm going to get me a 2015 to 2019 model from either Dell, Microsoft, or Samsung. So yeah, one of those three companies and one of their models of computers from 2015 to now is what I'm going to be getting. Not used, you know, I'm going to get it brand new, like off their website. <laughs> yeah, so... Go check out my Twitter at XFilms for possible news and uh, news and updates, as well as just seeing the random stuff that I retweet. <laughs> I'm mostly active on like the Mondays and Fridays, but that's mostly because I just retweet stuff from WWE, such as the Raw and SmackDown, and then every Wednesday I'm like hashtag NXT. And then sometimes I'm at the end of the show, I'm like, hashtag main event, hashtag NXT, you know? Mondays, hashtag Raw. Fridays, hashtag SmackDown, you know? The, the usual stuff for hashtags, you know? Um, WWE 2K20, I pre-ordered that back in August, as you may know. Just standard edition. You know, I don't, I don't really need anything special. Because I'm just going to go back and buy the DLCs later. Probably the backstage pass. So I can get the originals, the MyWare Kickstarter, and the Accelerator, if that's all that's in it. I'm pretty sure there's two passes. There's Backstage Pass and some other pass. I'm not sure, but, yeah, I'll buy the Backstage Pass, get the originals, and then get the Accelerator and MyPlayer, and then the uh, Legends DLC for the Hogan, China, uh, Rock, and, uh, Mankind. So, yeah. Basically, news. That's why this video is just titled News. Uh, oh, something you may have noticed is I got my championships out and fixed them up. Put them on the wall. There's those. There's that one. Oh, uh, there's the one over there. 
two there, and then pass the little cup, and then X and S W. And yeah. Uh, 2K19 news, as far as I know, uh, with superstars have updated some. So like the Demon, now his new gimmick is uh, the Demon King, because he won the world title or something, I believe. I don't know. But X and SW will return after I can get it set up in 2K20, which, by the way, the menus look great. I love the side effects. I just kind of hate how the menu is kind of small, you know. I feel like they could have made the menu look like look bigger, even though that it's all basically the same stuff from last year with like two or three newer things. I still feel like they could have made the menus look bigger, like they did last year, like in like bigger fonts and pages, you know. Because this year it's not really pages; it's just you you click A to get into the game, and then it's just this menu with all of these just words and stuff, and then you just click on those words, and then it takes you to this little menu, little mini menu, basically a whole other page <laughs> for it, but like, I like how, like, all the menus had their own pages, because, like, you would start out on the far left menu in 2K19, you start out on the far left, unless you're offline, then you start out and play for exhibition matches. If you're online, you start out far left menu, the next night you got, like, the 2K Central, and then play, uh, the 2K Showcase, which for some reason had some menu, uh, yeah, <laughs> you, you kind of know it, next night you had, like, the, my player, then you had the universe, and then the creation suite, and then the settings, and then there was, like, the store, which was kind of hidden, oh yeah, and then the my WV, so you could edit, like, the stars, and your, who your champions are, and who your money in the bank people are. Uh, the Fiend, I kinda don't really like how his starting overall is like 86. I feel like, you know, like, I know they gave him his overall before Hell in a Cell, so they should have given him, and it's him before Hell in a Cell, they should have given him, him an overall of at least 91 or so, but they gave him 86. But then you watch Hell in a Cell, it's like, Bray Wyatt, overall 86, also Bray Wyatt, a pedigree, 10 curb stomps and 15 chair shots to the head, and like 15 kango stick shots or whatever, kicks out at 1. It's like, what? Which is why they need to bring back having overalls that go over 100. I feel like the max overall someone could have is 120. I say that should be like the max overall for anyone. And then just give the fiend, like, I don't know. I guess give normal Bray Wyatt like an 87 or so, and then give the Fiend the Bray Wyatt as a separate character. Uh, I guess like a 112 or so. With, and with the max overall for anyone could be like a 120. And then like you could create like Braun Strowman whenever he was like the real monster among men. You know, his gimmick now is still Monster Among Men, but he used to have this epic, like, Monster Among Men. You know, at, like, like he would just kick out from literally anything instantly. <laughs> like, like, he would be, like, like the Fiend level, because, like, he would be, like, the Fiend level of strength back then, even stronger. Like, how he would lift, like, the ambulance and the semi-trucks and stuff, you know, which obviously he didn't lift it, they just used hydraulics to help pull it back and that was all. <laughs> but he didn't actually do anything at all, but yeah. <laughs> um, that's really all the news and updates. I mean, because the tablet's an Amazon tablet, of course, it has the Alexa on it. So whenever I get my new phone, which I'm wanting the Samsung Galaxy A20, I found one, but it's an international version. That means it has an unlocked GSM and no and there's no warranty. So unlocked GSM, it doesn't it's not compatible with certain SIM cards, which is fine. I don't really need a SIM card in it. I mean of course I do for like for my location and something and so so if I get lost or if I need to call the police or whatever, yeah, I need a SIM card, but I don't really need one other than that. 
I mean, I can just take the one out of my Samsung S5 and put it in there, and that should work, probably. I don't know, I think that one was like a straight talk or something. So a straight talk should work for it, because straight talk, it just goes off of everyone's towers in America. For like $45 a month, you can get unlimited data, talk and text, unlimited, off of every tower in the United States. But where I live, you get like no bars, because there's like no towers here at all. Consumer cellular is the same, it's just cheaper. Although, you can't have unlimited data. It's, you can only have 20 gigabytes of data max a month, which is okay, I guess. I mean, if you're going to be like me and just only upload videos, you know, I guess you could do the full 20 if you're like constantly uploading and live streaming like I do, but yeah. So basically the only other way to catch me other than these occasional videos for like little small updates and stuff is Twitter, at xfilms on Twitter, uh, maybe Instagram which is xnsfilms, you know the same but it's all lowercase, uh, there might be a uh, underscore in there, I'm not sure. But yeah, I mean, once I get the computer, I can screen record games and stuff, most likely Skyrim and Sims 4 for mods. Like games I really want for PC is just Skyrim, Fallout 4, Sims 4, uh, Minecraft, and uh, I guess that's really all, because that's really all I need for PC, because I just like to mod the games. I don't know what's happening with this, it's not working properly. I'm gonna have to reset this. Oh yeah. <laughs> this PC is not really good, but it does work occasionally. Occasional. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's really all. I don't think I have any new games since then. Well, I have a few new games. Do you have anything that's physical new games? Uh, no. Huh. Okay. I don't have any physical new games, but for downloaded games, I have like, this fishing game. It's kind of bad, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, I got some game, I don't, I don't remember what it was. Oh yeah, Tekken Tag Tournament 2. That game is actually kind of fun, though. Uh, all of my games, they're all up to date. Minecraft, it's the most latest version for Bedrock 1.13.0.18. There's really nothing new in it. And also, I quickly looked at my screen, saw my tank, and thought it was a face, and I was like, whoa, I was, I was scared. Oh, yeah, that's really all. Also, if you didn't catch it, I got my other championship in the window there. That is a championship that's kind of for a later thing. Uh, news on WHW. Uh, once I get my new phone, we might be able to film an episode or two. Because WHW, that's a like, real-life wrestling brand. We had a whole story planned out. Like, I have scripts over there next to me on my table. I have like whole scripts in this container. And then uh, the next movie, if you're wondering what that's going to be, is here for the movie Delta Charlie Civil War. So, you know, well, I guess I should probably put the number in there. So this will be here for the movie Delta Charlie 6 Civil War. I guess the final movie is going to end at like movie 8 or so, because like you saw by final operation, you know, uh, the character, me, whatever my character name was, kind of, kind of died, I don't know, I, mean, I was basically filling in for Levi, because we couldn't get Levi or Josh, which, by the way, news on Levi and Cadence, is in, if, in case you didn't know, Cadence was, like, background character in the show, but, uh, Josh, he left, so, yeah. Like, not only did he leave the channel, he also left our school and his house, and got a new house and a new school. Same with Cadence. New school, new house, new family. It's Josh, he has his same family, which is good, but poor Cadence has a new family. 
but that matters, that doesn't need to be discussed. It's just, if you kind of already knew that, okay, and if you didn't know that, but you knew Cadence, now you know. And also another thing to do is, uh, if you're thinking about doing YouTube, do not buy this, any uh, Amazon products for it. Basically meaning, like, their tablets or whatever. Because it uses the Amazon App Store, and they do not have a deal with Google to put the Google on their App Store. So that's why they cannot upload. You're probably thinking, Evan, just go to the uh, search and search Google, and then just press upload, kind of like you would do on PC. You cannot do that. You click it. It doesn't do anything. It just highlights it in blue, and then it just sits there and does nothing. So that's the thing. Uh, you can use it to call people, because you don't need uh, a SIM card to call people. It has contacts, and you just be like, Alexa, call this person, or whatever. And it goes off of Wi-Fi to call people's phone numbers, which is pretty cool. So if you have a kid that you want to call you, but not have like a SIM card that you have to pay for or anything, just get them a tablet, make sure that you have, make sure that they have a good, stable internet connection, and boom, they can call phone numbers off of Wi-Fi, which is pretty cool, in my opinion. Uh, no new Nerf guns or anything, I think. Yeah, no, no, no new Nerf guns or anything, nothing new with Nerf. Um, we do need to do another Nerf one, but we haven't done one in a long time. Because I still want to stick to our channel roots of Nation of Wars, you know. But yeah, that's really all. That's all my room updates and everything. Other than... <laughs> so, oh yeah, new shoes, by the way. So you all know how I listen to, like, Billie Eilish or whatever. You, you already see it in frame, don't you? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Look at this. Wow. It's wrinkled because it's kind of... Boom. <laughs> I know, I wear it to school like every day, because I can. <laughs> and this laptop, what is happening? How are you failing? Just work. I got a new charger for it. That's this, that's the new charger. It needs a new battery, new CPU, new GPU, a new processor, a new iOS, and everything, so basically put that price together and you got an overpriced laptop. There's me. So I might as well just get a new laptop, which is what I'm doing. I'm also getting a new cat for my birthday. I don't know why, but I am. I mean, I don't like animals, but whatever. Basically, the story behind this cat is that I saw this cat at the store. I like them. And so after I saw this cat, I was like, hey, He's, he's pretty big, you know, it's on that pet coke in the adoption box. So, if you want a big black cat, if he's not adopted by now, keep Toronto Petco. You know, go there and get that big black cat. He's pretty big. If you guys have seen Monkey, he's, uh, this cat's bigger than Monkey. Monkey's our biggest cat. I guess by big, he's kind of actually just a fat cat, because... He's supposed to be as big as Kevin, but he doesn't really do anything but just lay around outside and eat food. Every time someone walks in the door, he's eating food. Every time you get up, he goes to the pet bowl and eats the food. I think you've all seen the video off of my Microsoft phone. Huh. Yeah, I think you've all seen that video before. Off of my Microsoft phone. I still have that phone. All I can do is just call people, though. Because it's the same as Amazon. You know, it's the Microsoft App Store. They don't have a deal with Google, so you can't have YouTube. Therefore, it's the same problems that I'm having with the tablet. You can't just go browse YouTube, click upload, and upload. Because it does the exact same thing I click on. It, it highlights the blue line around it, and then that's all. That's all it does. Can't upload anything. Right on here, I can just record a video on here, put a YouTube on laptop, and just upload it. Because I have a cord that I can plug into the computer, 
using that, or most likely what I'll do is just take out the SIM card. Which, by the way, I think this is 720p right now. I have it on wide, so that's why it has like the bar, like like right there and right there. It has bars there for wide, so you guys should be at 720p. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see here. Okay, that's about a good solid 20 frames per second or so. We're about 10 frames under the max amount of frame rate for a PS4 Pro. And for a 2010 camera versus a 2018 console, or 2016 console, I don't know. PS4 Pro came out in like 2017, right? Yeah, I think so. So a 2010 camera versus a 2017 console. Uh, frame rate. Console wins frame rate, but the 2010 camera frame rate is only 10 frames under the max frame rate which of the console, which, by the way, this is the max frame rate for the console, which came out in 2017. 30 frames. How is, how is the console made 2017's max frame rate going to be 30 frames per second, yet a camera in 2010? seven years seven years older than this console is going to have twenty frames per second. Like it's only ten frames under. Literally if they wanted to, they could just max out the frames at like thirty frames and then just price it for like like twenty dollars more or so. And then your frame rate for the camera is the same frame rate as a console. Which by the way the camera is seven years older than the console. Xbox One X comes out 30 frames higher than the PS4 Pro. And the Xbox One X has better hardware and stuff. And is more up to date and came out the same year the PS4 Pro came, in, came out. And that's that's the thing. I don't know why. And besides, some of the things that are... Some of the things with the PS4, Microsoft helped build and implicate, which by the way, Microsoft makes the Xbox One X, which is the PS4's rival. And the Xbox One, Xbox is the PlayStation rival. And yet some of that stuff inside of your PlayStation and some of the uh, digital hardware, or I guess software, is made by Microsoft. So basically every time you're playing the PlayStation, you're playing part of an Xbox, actually. So the next time you pick up a controller for your PlayStation, just think about that. You're playing on uh, on a device that's actually part Xbox. Because what you're playing on actually came from that console. Just just think about that. Goodbye.